Hi guys, it's Shamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Byredo Makeup Collection. This is a brand new launch from Byredo. It is their first foray into makeup. It is a collaboration with Ben Gorham, the Byredo founder, and Ismaya French, who is like a huge makeup artist. So if you are intrigued by this video or you are intrigued by this launch, then please keep watching. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. So I got two things from Byredo. I'm going to be trying them today. I'm very excited by them. So first I'm going to start with the color stick which is supposed to be it's supposed to be like a multitasking stick that you can use anywhere on your face you can use it on your eyes your cheeks your lips you can smear it in the campaign there's lots of smears so she's like Ugh, smear it so I just got like a regular shade I didn't get anything too wacky I got the shade ancient which looked like a really nice kind of bronzy metallic shade and I really really like the look of it felt like it was gonna be very flattering and something I would definitely wear It's actually really, really nice. It's very sleek, very chill. I love the fact that this is a magnetic closure. So you just kind of, oh, so satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. So that's it normally. And then that's it kind of blended out. So I do really like the fact that it, you get two finishes with that. That's really, really nice. I think it would also work really nicely as a blush because of that as well. So the color stick comes in 16 shades. This is 26 pounds and 30 US dollars. Not bad at all. Definitely not bad for something you can use on your eyes, your cheeks and your lips. I just personally don't think I would buy lots and lots of these because I feel like you could easily get carried away. I feel like the colour is good. I definitely don't feel like it's a brown, but I do like the colour nonetheless. I feel like it will be really nice for autumn and winter as well. it's very creamy it goes on very easily the dome top makes it a little bit harder to be precise and I know she said she wants it to be like imperfect but sometimes you do actually want it to look quite neat and I don't feel like you can be super neat using it from the bullet but I do like the ease of it I'm going to try it on the other side with an eyeshadow base On the primer side, it definitely looks a lot more matte. And on the normal side, it looks a bit more greasy, a bit more sheeny, a bit more shiny. I'm gonna put a bit on my cheeks and see how that goes. So that's the eye. I think from afar, I definitely prefer this kind of grungy, greasy feeling. But up close, I'm not sure I'm feeling the creasing. It's just a bit too like, ugh. And people just look at my eye and be like, ugh. what is going on up there? So next up is the lipstick. Love the packaging of this. The packaging of this is sublime. It's just like gold and silver and quirky and tilted and just like super cool, super different. I don't know if it's gonna really fit if you've got like lipstick organizers and stuff. I don't think it would really fit into those, but it's so pretty anyway. So this is the Byredo lipstick in Earth Dust. It is 35 pounds and 42 US dollars, kind of around the same price as a Tom Ford, a Pat McGrath lipstick. So it definitely is in the high end, so let's hope that it is as good as it looks. Really, really nice, very chic. It's quite comfortable to hold just because of the shape of it. I love the, the shape and the size of this lipstick bullet as well. It's like a nice angled lipstick all the way up. So it's kind of just perfect for your lip and the color just looks so, so good. So I'm gonna give you guys a swatch.
Like they said, it is nude, but it's got a yellow undertone. I just really like this color, and I really wasn't looking to get any of their lipsticks, but it just looked really nice, and I felt like it would look really good with the way I wear my lip liners, very dark brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you it without the lip liner, and then I'm gonna wipe it off and then put lip liners on, because that's how I would normally wear it. That's it on its own. Obviously it's a bit light for how I like to wear them. It's very, very creamy. It glides on and it's actually quite a flattering colour. It does kind of sink into the lips quite quickly and quite well. Kind of looks alright. I'm going to use the Pillow Talk Intense from Charlotte Tilbury. So next I'm going to put on the lipstick in Earth Dust as I would normally wear it, which is with a liner, probably all over my lips, as I've just done. Sometimes I will lighten up the middle with a lighter lip liner, but I wanna see how this wears just with this lip liner, because that would be the truest test for me. I do feel like they go together really, really nicely and I'm really happy with the colours I picked. I just feel like they're just slightly lacking in the performance category. I feel like I like the shade of the colour stick, but it's very, very creasy with or without an eyeshadow base. I don't think I would necessarily repurchase this again, but I do really like the shade and I think the shade goes really, really nicely with the lipstick. I do really like the colour of this lipstick, especially worn with my lip liner. I feel like it's actually a really nice, really seductive shade. It's just a bit off, a bit grey, very mauve Trying to get used to like seeing so many lines on my lip. I feel like it definitely does highlight them and I think maybe there's something quite cool about it and I, I didn't really get it at first but now I'm kind of getting into it, it kind of just accentuates the lip in a way the more I have it on my lips I feel like I do really like it so I would actually say the lipstick is really nice it's very creamy as well and it does have like a slight vanilla-y taste to it I'm gonna keep wearing it and keep you informed in the comments below but the lipstick's kind of won me over so yeah it's not all bad thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we would love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one